Put air under the f ball in the end zone, Emery. I'm so freaking tired of you. What's up, everyone? KJ3 here, and it's still hard to believe, isn't it? I cannot believe Kentucky just beat us in Lexington. That never happens. And when I say never, I mean it's the first time in 35 years that it's happened. How did it happen? I, it's, it's hard to say. It really is hard to say because this team this year, for some reason, does not get off to a good start. They just don't. And once again... We lost the game, just like we lost the Alabama game with the slow start in the first quarter. This time, we couldn't even decide to come out of the locker room at halftime and play with any intensity whatsoever. I This is 100% on the coaching staff. Like, Dan, I'm such a fan of you. I'm such a fan. I'm glad you're my head coach. But, man, are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me right now? You, you let Kentucky beat us at home in your first year, and now you just let can't even say these words right, Dan. Get it together or get out of town. Like, yo, for real. I can't believe I'm even saying that. But, Dan, why is Kentucky your kryptonite? Why are they your kryptonite, my man? Like, figure it out. Figure out what you're doing wrong. Why is the team coming out so sluggish in the first quarter, in the first third of the game, especially? That's five games in a row this year. That's every single freaking game, Mullen. Like, what are you doing all week long? Get your team prepared, man. It's a four-quarter game. I don't care how good you are at doing in-game adjustments. Get ready to be playing during kickoff. Because this is ridiculous, man. How are they? We held them to one of nine on third down conversions in this game. We outgained them by 156 yards of offense. They had 87 yards passing, and that's including a 41-yard screenplay on their first offensive possession that let them take the lead. You're kidding me. 46 passing yards except for that one play? We outpassed them. We outgained them on the ground. The only thing that we didn't do right was turnovers, and oh my gosh, y'all want to count the turnovers with me? We had eight false starts. Eight. There's one. False start. And another one. Oh, Another one. Are you kidding me? Another one. Another one. What now? Oh, wow. What now? Oh, wow. Another one. Flag. 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 Another false start. Another one. Oh, my goodness. And another one. Oh, my God. Another false start. Oh, you are freaking kidding me, man. Eight false starts tonight. That's only the false starts, man. We had 15 for 115 yards in this game. That's unheard of. When was the last time we had 15 penalties in a game? Have we ever had eight false start penalties in a game? What is going on? What's going on with this team? Because, man, you're joking, right? How in the world... Did you not have your team prepared for your first SEC road game of the season? Did we just think that we could walk into Kroger Field in Lexington, Kentucky and be like, oh yeah, by the way, you're Kentucky. Yeah, you're not even going to give us a challenge. We don't even have to show up today. Just give us the win. Like, are we that dumb? Are we that unprepared? Are we that uncoached? What's going on in Emory Jones? Emory Jones. Thank you so much for another stupid interception into triple coverage. I really appreciate it. I really do, man. And not to mention, you underthrew Trent Whittemore on that very last play of the game. If you would have put some air under the ball, you would have given him a chance. But you didn't. Because you're just not a good passing quarterback. And Mullen. You waited to the last possession of the game to try to, to, to finally get aggressive in your play calls and have Emory Jones make some tough throws. All the plays designed for him today were the easiest kind of throws in the world. Quick outs, screen passes, bubble screens, drag routes across the middle of the field. I swear, the hardest throw he had was the first 
throw of the game. We didn't throw more than 20 yards down the field, but once, and guess what? We got a defensive pass interference call in our favor the one time we took a shot down the field. Why, oh why, did we not do that more? Uh, someone please explain this to me. Anthony Richardson played first time in two weeks, and guess what? He counted for like five snaps, man. He had like five or six rushes, 25, 30 yards, and one throw for 11 yards. You only let him throw it once, Dan. Simple vanilla routes. The one time he tries actually being a quarterback and leads the team down the field in the last drive, guess what? We got down to the five-yard line until false starts knocked us backwards. I'm done. I'm done putting on gloves when I'm talking about my team, my head coach, and my quarterbacks. Hats off. Hats off to Todd Grantham. Oh my goodness, man. Dude's calling a heck of a game on the defensive side of the ball this whole season. Say what you want about him, but Todd Grantham in the defense has been a strong point for us this year. Really has. I can't believe the biggest criticism in a Dan Mullen offense is Dan Mullen's offense. Like, are you serious? Especially after that offense we just had last year. Especially after entering today with the third best rushing attack in the nation. And we got out physical, out mentally, out, out dominated on the line of scrimmage for the most part. Oh, wow. We had so many missed blocks. So many missed blocks. It's not even funny. It's really not because with the way our offensive line has been going this year, who would have saw that coming? The only person who saw that coming is just not a Florida fan or just a big old Dan Mullen hater. Like, because I didn't see that coming. I, I knew that they were that there were question marks about this team. But man, this is horrible. This is horrible. How do you show up that unprepared? It's a it's a road game, man. The last two times we went there, we almost lost. This time we did. Did we learn nothing? Did we learn nothing? And special teams. Special teams, man. We had an offsides on a kickoff and a false start. Yeah, another false start on a field goal. At least we made that field goal. We had one block return for a touchdown, and that was the decider. Just like Alabama, field goals, man. You're kidding me. We missed an extra point against Bama, and we had a field goal blocked against Kentucky. Special teams, get it together, man. Greg Knox, that's your job. John Hebs, you, oh my God, man. What did you do all week long? Did you not get off the recliner? What happened to the amazing O-line this year? Whole entire coaching staff, man. Except for the defensive side of the ball. Once again, defense, phenomenal game. Honestly, outside of two plays, they had one touchdown, and that's it. And one of those plays was special teams. Wow. Wow. Can't believe that just happened. I can't believe that just happened. This better be a wake-up call. Because guess what? No playoffs anymore. Guess what? Don't control our destiny anymore. Guess what? George is going to beat us badly if we do that again. Like embarrassingly badly. <laughs> and I'm going to Jacksonville. So that better not happen happen this better be the wake-up call this better be it because i am so tired of this team deciding to sleepwalk through the first third of the game because it's terrible and we've lost both games this year because of it get your shit together mullen and staff kd3 signing off all kinds of weather in all kinds of weather